After Archie, I knew I'd never remarry. I didn't want to give anyone that power over me again. But I didn't want to ask him for a divorce either because I knew he'd use it to hurt me, make me beg. So I just put the whole subject to the back of my mind. Forgot about it. You're calling our dad a bigamist, you know that. Yeah, he lied about everything else. How could he? Peggy. <sighs> she thinks she heard. I'm going to go after her. No, wait. I'm coming with you. Well, who's going to look after Amy? Well, you are. I'm going to find Auntie Peck. <sighs> who's Amy? It's freezing out here. Auntie Peggy, come home. That's not my home, though, is it? That's my home. All the fighting. Everything I had to do. And now I'll never get it back. I've got no claim to it. I've got nothing. You got me and Ronnie. Hmm? You still got us. Have I? Darling little Roxanne, a mum. <laughs> I can't believe it. I believe it. Is she married? No. But does he support her, though, the, the father? They're not together, but he still sees Amy. It's all very amicable. Well, that's good. No point staying together for the sake of a child. I know that better than anyone. <sighs> Roxanne. I, I can see why she's hostile. She was so young when I left, but you were old enough to understand. You knew what it was like. Yeah. And she was such a daddy's girl. Whereas you, I've missed our little chat so much. You were always more of a friend than a daughter. Wise beyond your years. I knew you'd be all right when I left. You were always the strong one out of all of us. I was 14 and pregnant. Or had you conveniently forgotten about that? No, of course I haven't. Really? Really, so when were you going to ask about your other grandchild? Oh, I wasn't sure... You weren't sure about what? Hmm? I was five months pregnant when you left. Don't you want to know what it was? Don't you want to know if it was a boy or a girl? You don't want to know if it was healthy. Don't you want to know anything at all? No, of course you don't. Of course you don't, because all you've done since you got here is talk about yourself and how hard it's been for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really, I am. I didn't ask because if I knew anything, that you would make a better job of being a mother than I did. That's something I never, never had to worry about with you. Because no matter how... how young you were, no matter what you had, boy or girl, I always knew that that child would be blessed to have you as a mum.